G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about a part of the brain called the amygdala. Now the amygdala is a small almond-shaped part of the brain, really deep inside the brain, and it's thought to help in interpreting the social and emotional meaning of sensory information that our brain receives. Now there's a lot of uh, research over the past 10, 20 years that has linked the amygdala, particularly to the social difficulties that we often see with autism. The study this week um, that we're talking about actually provides a lot more light on how the amygdala might be related to those social difficulties. So the study uh, investigated over 400 children and they studied these children from age 6 to 24 months of age. Now a good proportion of these children ha were at increased likelihood of developing autism because they already had a sibling on the autism spectrum. And across those 18 months what they did is they provided them multiple MRI scans. Now what they found is that the children who went on to develop autism at about 6 months of age they, there was no difference in the amygdala size between those children who didn't develop autism. But what happened over that next little bit of period between 6 and 24 months is the kids who went on to develop autism had a really fast acceleration in the uh, growth of the amygdala, so much so that it was significantly larger at those later ages compared to uh, the children who didn't develop autism. Now that's really interesting because we actually see changes, behavioural changes uh, in autism emerge between 6 to 24 months of age as well. So this is a really interesting study that actually links the amygdala changes to the behavioural difficulties that we often see emerge during that early childhood period. There are no clinical implications of this study right now, but it is certainly really interesting in how it might help us provide early identification and early support to kids um, uh, uh, so we can help them reach their potential.